Praise the Lord! Welcome everyone to another episode of the Journey Through Apostolic Succession. As it says in John chapter 16 verses 15, All that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. Yes, the power and authority that is in Jesus Christ is transferred to the Apostles. That is why we should know more about our Apostolic Fathers. So today we talk about our 24th Pope in line, and that is Pope Sixtus II. Pope Sixtus II was the 24th Pope in Apostolic Successions and the second of four men to use the name Sixtus. He was born in Greece, he was Pope for just a short period before becoming a martyr for his positions and beliefs. A contribution that Pope Sixtus II had for the Catholic Church is he dealt with the controversy concerning baptism by heretics. Like his predecessor Stephen, Sixtus believed that baptism is a once-in-a-lifetime event. But unlike Stephen, Sixtus tolerated those who re-baptized and thus restored the relations with the African and Eastern churches, which had been broken off by his predecessor on the question of heretical baptism raised by the heresy Novenationism. Some interesting facts about Pope St. Sixtus II is that Sixtus II was known as Zustos and Sixtos when he was born in Greece. His papacy began on August 30th, 257, and his papacy ended when he died in August of 258. Pope St. Sixtus II is one of the only popes in history who ruled for less than one year. His papacy lasted for around 341 days. His successor was Pope St. Dionysus, who became Pope on July 22, 259. Some facts about the feast day of Pope Sixtus II is that there are two different stories regarding the death of Pope Sixtus II. Most historians believe that he was executed in the cemetery after a short trial. The Catholic Church canonized Pope Sixtus II and celebrates his feast day on August 6-7 every year which is his believed date of death. In the Eastern Christian Church, they honor Sixtus II with the feast day on August 10th. So that's all for today. Thank you for listening, and please stay tuned for our next episode. Please like, share, and subscribe, and spread the word to many around you. For Christ and for the Church. Amen.